Taxi? Taxi! Taxi! Hey! Taxi! Okay, so you may have found or heard about this company called Taxi Music. They offer to take your music to music supervisors and music libraries, record labels, music publishers. You think, finally, a company that is going to realize my genius and help me make music income while I sit at home eating bonbons. How many did you eat? Four. But you wonder, is it legit? Is it really worth the money? How does it really work? What can I expect? In this video, I'm going to try to give you my perspective of Taxi from someone who is actually using it right now in 2021, what I think is good, what I think is bad, and a real problem that I think it eventually presents. So be sure to stick around to the end so you can hear about this big problem that I think really that Taxi presents that a lot of people aren't talking about. At the time of making this video, I'm about halfway through a year of being with Taxi Music, a service that says it helps take you to the music industry, or as their website says on the very first page, Taxi Independent A&R gets your music to the people who need it. Do they now? Taxi Music is a service that usually costs $299 to sign up for a full year. I think I may have signed up on a special that they offer sometimes for $199. If you're going to try Taxi, I heavily recommend waiting for this deal. So let's start with the good. Taxi offers a great website with a ton of opportunities for your music compositions and recordings. And they are a totally legit company that has been around for over 20 years. Personally, I've seen Taxi in Keyboard Magazine, Electronic Magazine, and everywhere else in everything I've studied in music over the last 20 years. They have been around and they have been doing this kind of thing. I remember using Taxi when I was just a songwriter trying to find publishing deals back in the early 2000s. So they have been around doing this work for a long time. Taxi offers weekly and sometimes daily listings of companies that come to them looking for songs and even looking for composers, artists, and songwriters. The listings include music publishing, music licensing, and artist deal opportunities. They used to be mainly for unsigned artists and songwriters to find label and publishing deals. But now, music licensing has really kind of taken over the listings that you're going to find on Taxi. These listings offer a lot of different styles, and they are very specific in what they're looking for. Like any pitching opportunity, you should pay very close attention to what they are asking for and be very careful not to submit anything they are not looking for. You're just wasting your time and your money if you just submit any song to a listing, so don't do that. Once you sign up for Taxi, you can submit to any listing during your subscription year. To submit to a listing, it will cost you another $5 submission fee for that listing. Then it's a wait and see if the reviewers at Taxi deem your song worthy and feel it's appropriate for the submission to get forwarded to the company requesting the song. <laughs> While I have no doubt that Taxi uses professionals to listen to these songs and figure out if the songs are right for the listings, one thing that you have to remember though is it's one person's opinion. They could be totally misunderstanding or mishearing the song the way the requesting company could be looking or listening for the song. But hey, welcome to the music business, folks. It's always been like this. It's always been one person's opinion, how one person feels on one day listening to one song. The gatekeeper keeps the gates. But they are the gatekeepers. They are guarding all the doors. They are holding all the keys, which means that sooner or later, someone is going to have to fight them. Whether you are forwarded or not, you will get a brief review telling you why you were or were not forwarded. This is a pretty paltry review, but it's just costing you five bucks if you think about it. Here is a good example from one of my submissions this year. Dear John, what I like most about this song, really great singing, playing, and lyrics. This is very good and I love it, but they needed a more contemporary sound all around for this listing. This is very good, but a little dated for this listing. They needed a more contemporary sound consistent with the references in this listing. So I don't remember what the listing was, but it was for a jazzy song and uh, apparently my song did not fit what they were looking for. 
If your song is forwarded, you will get an email that starts with, Congratulations, John. If your song is not forwarded, you will get an email that literally starts, Dear John. This is, of course, if your first name is John, like mine is. But if you get a Dear John letter, I think you kind of know what it means. And I need to note, even if you do get forwarded, you do get a critique. In some ways, you can think of the $5 as a critique fee. And I guess that's not so bad, even though it's not much, but still $5. Plus, it just depends on how you feel about getting reviewed by somebody and having your song summed up in a few sentences. Taxi says about 6% of taxi members get a deal in a typical year, but I would bet this is after a certain amount of pitching. Taxi has a great page all about their success rate, which is listed in the show notes below. All right, this is a major grumble. Major grumble. Okay, so here is my main problem with Taxi, and I'm not sure if it's their fault or if it can even be fixed because music business. I have had songs forwarded and so have clients of mine, but there is no guarantee that you will get a response if whoever they forwarded to decides not to use your music, meaning you could wait around for a yes or no forever. Well, we're waiting. While there is a great system to submit a song to Taxi and then get an answer one way or the other if they're going to forward it or not forward it to whoever the music company is that requested the songs, there is no back-end final answer. You have no idea if your song is going to be used or if it's not going to be used. And so this presents a problem, especially if your song is being forwarded for an exclusive deal, which means they don't want you to use it anywhere else, and you're waiting to see what you can do with that song with other libraries or other possibilities that you might want to pitch to. You can wait for a long time, for months, while the company makes up their mind. That's what you signed up for with Taxi. You signed up to send a song to somebody. And we all have deals that are pending and have been pending for months and may continue to be pending for months while we wait for the possibility to make income from that song. So there's really no answer to this problem. So in some ways, the problem comes after you get forwarded. So if you don't get picked, you never know. I submitted a song in December 2020. It got forwarded in January. Yay. I can only assume for almost nine months now that it didn't get selected. I never heard, so I'll never know. If you have another opportunity for a song, even if it's just sticking it in a royalty-free library where it might make some money now, or releasing it to digital music services or pitching to an exclusive library, this can really be a holdup. There really needs to be some period of exclusivity for the company or some word within 30 days or 60 days at the most so you know where you stand and you can move on with the song. It would be great. In general, general, I give them 30 to 60 days after I get the email that it's been forwarded. If another opportunity comes along, especially a non-exclusive opportunity, I go ahead and take it, especially if it's something I can pull out of a non-exclusive library if it does get accepted by a company. So if you pitch the songs elsewhere and you get another deal and it's exclusive and then the company from Taxi comes back to you after three or five months and says, we really want that song, then you're gonna have to say, well, I'm sorry, it's already been signed. and. Them's the breaks. Welcome to the music business, music business. Okay, so is Taxi a good deal or a bad deal? I've seen videos of people who have had forwards get accepted, but some of the stories say it took years of pitching to Taxi and getting better. I'm not sure it's worth 200 or $300 a year for me and $5 a song to get better at pitching songs. And you could easily submit 10 songs a month at $5 and that's $50 a month or over the course of a year, that's almost $1,000 a year to pitch songs out. That's kind of dumb. I mean, it's just kind of dumb, folks. You can look up libraries easily on the internet, on Google. All you have to do is search for music libraries and you can pitch directly to them and you know how much that costs you? Just your time. Zero dollars spent trying to find libraries and pitch to them. This is something that doesn't cost you any money to do. 
So why would you pay any company? And I'm not just talking about taxi, but things like Broad Jam and Tracks and Fields and all the other places that send you emails all day long saying, we've got music opportunities for you and it's only going to cost you $15 or $10. I just think you can pitch to opportunities that you don't have to pay for. Case in point, I've been with Taxi for about nine months now. In that nine months, I have paid them the $200 to sign up, which was at a discount. And then I have probably submitted about 20 songs at $5 each. So let's say I have paid about $300. But in that time, I had one song forwarded and heard nothing back from it. But also in that time, I have pitched and had signed four different 10 plus song albums to different exclusive music libraries. And I've had over a hundred songs accepted to another exclusive library with many others on hold. All that cost me was a little research and a little time. So for me, a professional composer and producer making music and pitching it all the time myself, I'm just not sure that Taxi has been worth it for me. I will continue to watch the opportunities that come into my mailbox every day and therein lies the thing I want to talk about that is my biggest concern about taxi music. Dun, dun, dun. It can be a huge distraction to you when you are trying to work on composing and pitching your music and being successful in whatever area you are as an artist or as a songwriter or whatever. I get emails every day from Taxi and it is so tempting to read through them and get lost in that rabbit hole because they dangle an opportunity that interests me. Squirrel. Now I have seen interviews with many composers and artists who have found great connections for life through Taxi. So I don't think you can say it's no good for anyone. I would say Taxi would be great for someone who just does not have any time or any ability to research online, pitch, and communicate with libraries themselves. Taxi might be great for those of you who just want to create, you've got extra money to spend, and you want to just have Taxi do the taking of your music off to other companies. And they will do that, and guess what? Their site works great, and the process works great, possibly with the exception of how the forward process happens after it's been forwarded. Taxi! <laughs> So the final word, the final word is that Taxi is a good company. I give them a thumbs up because I really like them. I think they have a great site. Also, Michael Laskow, the president of Taxi, has a great channel on YouTube that I will link below. Check it out. He offers lots of great info and insight, and you can totally research the service to make your own decision. I watch Michael Laskow all the time. He's got great videos, and he's got a good heart. He loves talking with songwriters and composers, and he is just really interested in helping people. Feel free to agree or disagree with what I've said here in the comments below. Also, give your experience with Taxi if you've been with them and write it in the comments below. Real experience is the best way that anybody can know if that's something they should do or use. That's why I wanted to do this video based on my experience. Please give this video a thumbs up if you found it helpful. It really helps the video reach more people who are trying to make a decision on using Taxi or not and if it's right for them. If you like this video, check out this video about six ways to make music income or check this one out. Thanks for watching.